Counting on alums Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar are known for raising their kids through a certain homeschool program. The majority of their children graduated from the same curriculum. Some of them attempted to pursue greater heights by going to college. However, Jana Duggar recently opened up about her professional career, and it seems she's taking the crown for being the first ever in the family. Keep reading to see what it was. Several Duggar family members studied in college. One of them is Joseph, who studied at Crown Bible College in Knoxville, Tennessee, for one year. The Counting on Alum then returned to his family's construction business. Aside from Joseph, there's no known history of Jim Bob and Michelle's children pursuing higher education. But Jinger revealed earlier this year that she's interested in studying for college. According to the mother of two, she likes to try out new things in life, and getting a degree is included in her bucket list. Jana recently had an interview in which she opened up about her decision to study in nursing school last year. According to the Counting on Alum, she came to a point where she thought her significant other would never arrive. Due to this, she decided to figure something out for herself. Maybe I'm supposed to be doing something else, she added, which led to her decision to pursue a professional career. During her second semester, Jana Duggar revealed that she reconnected with Stephen. I had been a slower mover on it, but just over time his character his coming back, still loving me no matter what, she confessed, adding that her now husband genuinely cares about her. Jana has yet to share new updates about her nursing school, but once she graduates, she's set to be the first Duggar to have a professional career. Aside from Jana, many Counting On fans are also impressed by Steven's background. He comes from a musician family and often travels to perform in different places. He's also a licensed pilot and is presently the assistant manager of his family's business, Wisman Enterprises. Steven Wisman may be one of the most successful sons-in-law of Jim Bob and Michelle today. And with Jana pursuing a career in the medical field, it's safe to say that the two have already reached couple goals status early in their marriage. Counting on alum, Jana Duggar continues to leave many people in awe as new photos and clips from her wedding surfaced online. The 34-year-old has also been participating in interviews, discussing her surreal wedding experience and opening up about her journey with Stephen Wisman. However, many Redditors were caught off guard after one of the people who helped make Jana's wedding dress jumped onto social media to share a shocking story. Keep reading to see what it was. Jana was recently interviewed regarding her wedding experience. According to the Counting on Alum, she was speechless about how well her wedding dress turned out. Because of her elegance, she thought of herself as a princess. The oldest Duggar daughter wore an ivory satin dress featuring a slight V-neck on the front and a large V-shaped back. She also wore a pearl-dotted veil, which fit nicely with her blonde hair dye. Some Redditors reacted to the recent post of the person who helped fix Jana Duggar's wedding dress. According to the poster, they've been following the designer on Instagram, and they saw their IG stories saying that they had to make an emergency wedding dress alteration for Jana. First fitting, eight hours of work and final fitting all in one day. And that was the day before the wedding, the designer said. Many were surprised by the limited amount of time they had to work with, but it turned out to be beautiful. Some people even called the counting on Alam Cinder Jana for her princess-like dress. She did a bang-up job. The dress looked great. So what happened to the original dress that she suddenly needed one literally the day before? Not even snarking. That sounds like a genuine nightmare and I am very curious. Perhaps Jana thought she could do it herself but ran out of time and patience. Oh, I follow that seamstress slash designer. She's been doing it since she was a teen. She did a beautiful job. For everyone asking who is the cosplayer, it's Bella Mae Design on Instagram. The dress looks like Sleeping Beauty's dress in the Disney version, except for the back. As for the emergency I'm guessing weight loss, Jana Duggar has yet to share her whereabouts after exchanging vows with Steven. However, the Counting on Alum recently said in an interview that they've already purchased a small home in Nebraska, confirming that she's about to bid farewell to her family in Arkansas. It was also reported that Stephen Wisman bought the 2,152-square-foot home for $275,000. It boasts a basement, five bedrooms, and two garages. Counting on alum Jill Duggar Dillard has many fans curious about her absence at Jana and Stephen Wisman's wedding. The 33-year-old has been active on social media over the past few days. She even congratulated the newlyweds on Instagram. 
However, it remains a mystery if she was with the family during the wedding. Some Reddit users think she was intentionally left out. Keep reading to see why. Family members and friends are finally uploading clips and pictures from Jana and Steven's nuptials. A Reddit thread recently reacted to the newlyweds dance clip. According to some Counting On fans, the two seem to have a fairy tale ceremony. Jana herself can't get over how amazing her wedding was, especially when she wore her wedding dress. Many fans were also left in awe by the clip of Jana and Stephen being welcomed by sparklers outside the church. Stephen then kissed Jana in the most romantic way and proceeded to dance with her. I did not know that he is such a showman. Not sure if that matches Jana's vibe. Quite a confident dip. Looks like Jana got a kick out of that. He's showing off those ballroom dance class moves that were learned for the wedding. Amid all the celebrations, Many counting on fans have wondered why Jill was MIA at Jana's wedding. In another Reddit thread, several people pointed out that it was a huge shock to them, especially considering Jana and Jill's strong relationship. But a lot of Reddit users believe that Jill may have been left out intentionally because of her father, Jim Bob Duggar. Meanwhile, some said that Jim Bob simply didn't let Jana invite her sister in exchange for the wedding of her dreams. It's no secret that Jill and Derek upset the Duggar family patriarch after exposing some of his troubles with the law, especially the allegations that he lied to the IRS regarding his family earnings, seemingly committing tax fraud. I feel bad that Jill was excluded, especially since Jana was Jill's emoch in her wedding, and they were quite close growing up. Like I've said, either Jana was not allowed to invite Jill in exchange for the wedding of her dreams or Jill was invited, but was not to be in the bridal party. Everyone is forgetting who had this exclusive article written and photographed, Jim Bob. They will show what they want to show, who they want to show, and leave anything they don't like out. Hi, Jill. So sad that Jill wasn't even a bridesmaid, especially considering Jana was Jill's maid of honor. Aside from Jill, Derek also made headlines with his recent IG post amid Jana's wedding. The Counting on Alum promoted the new edition of their book, Counting the Cost. However, he faced backlash after sharing the news during the Duggar family celebration for Jana and Stephen. Some said it was his way to fire back for snubbing them at the wedding, while others believe he just utilized the attention the family had been getting. Counting on fans have wished for Jana Duggar to find the love of her life and eventually marry. People thought that she'd stay single in life. Due to this, many were surprised when she announced her nuptials with Stephen Wisman. Photos from the ceremony with over 500 guests have surfaced online. However, one stood out the most as Jana reunited with one of her rarely seen siblings. Keep reading to see who it was. Jinger's husband, Jeremy, recently took to social media to share photos from Jana and Stephen's wedding. The married couple flew all the way from Los Angeles to attend the couple's big day. Wedding season congrats. Many were stunned by one of Jinger's photos wearing her bridesmaid dress. Abby, Joanna, Johanna, and Jordan were also bridesmaids, while Jessa was the maid of honor. But one photo caught the attention of many as it reveals Jana's rarely seen sibling. Jeremy's IG post from Jana's wedding featured Justin and Claire. The married couple is no longer as active on social media today. They also live in Texas, making it difficult for them to be at family gatherings consistently. Due to this, many are happy that Justin Duggar was able to attend the ceremony with his wife. Others also cheered for the newlyweds and were impressed by how everyone in the family was able to keep it a secret for quite some time. This was one of the best kept secrets of all Duggar secrets, wow. I've never been more happy for someone I don't even know. The weddings we have seen on TV from this family have been so nice. And just from pictures of this on, it excites me so much. So over the moon happy for Jana. Everyone looks so beautiful. I'm so happy for Jana. Justin and Claire have been living happily in Texas. They're currently working at the Spivey family's construction business. Many fans are also glad that the Counting On alums are seemingly enjoying their lives as a couple first before starting a family. One of their last posts was a photo of them with what appeared to be a miniature horse breed. In a twist that would make even the most seasoned soap opera writers envious, Jana, the eldest Duggar daughter, has secretly tied the knot with longtime friend Stephen Wisman. Yep, you heard that right Jana's been keeping this one under wraps, and now that the cat's out of the bag, let's dive into all the scandalous details of her surprise wedding, which haven't made it to reality TV yet. Jana and Steven, who have been on and off again for years, 
managed to keep their wedding a total secret until just hours before they said I do. On Thursday, news broke that the pair had scored a marriage license in Arkansas earlier this week. Later that day, People magazine confirmed the big news. The couple exchanged vows in a lavish ceremony in Prairie Grove, Arkansas, with a whopping 500 guests in attendance. That's right, 500. Speaking to the publication, Jana admitted that the speculation about her and Stephen dating years ago was spot on. The two had a brief romance, split up and then reconnected. Despite their past breakup, they kept in touch and eventually found their way back to each other. When People magazine released a photo of Jana and Stephen's bridal party, eagle-eyed fans quickly noticed a glaring absence Jill Duggar. Jill, who had been Jana's maid of honor at her 2014 wedding, was nowhere to be seen. Instead, Jana chose her sister Jessa Seawald as maid of honor, and her bridesmaids included Abby Duggar, Jinger Vualo, Joy Forsyth, Johanna Duggar, and even 15-year-old Jordan Duggar. The glaring omission of Jill, who has had a rocky relationship with the family recently, was particularly surprising. In another shocking twist, Jana and Steven's wedding featured dancing a big no-no for the Duggar clan. The couple had their first dance following the wedding toasts, defying the Duggar family's traditional aversion to dancing. The Duggars have long held conservative views on dance, with Michelle Duggar once claiming it fosters sensual feelings and Jim Bob Duggar, asserting that it draws unnecessary attention. Jana also broke from family tradition with her wedding attire. She opted for an off-the-shoulder ivory gown that revealed more skin than is typically seen in Duggar weddings. Joy Forsyth also sported an off-the-shoulder dress, showing a clear shift from the family's usually modest dress code. Jana and Stephen's wedding was a whirlwind affair. Engaged on June 15th, they managed to pull together a 500-guest wedding in just two months. The ceremony took place at the Grand at Willow Springs Event Center, and despite the tight time frame, no leaks or rumors surfaced until the big reveal. In conclusion, Jana Duggar's secret wedding has certainly made waves. From the unexpected guest list to the defiance of Duggar norms, this ceremony was anything but ordinary. It's clear that Jana and Steven are starting their new life together with a bang, and it's a story we'll be talking about for a while. Jana Duggar, 34, has tied the knot with longtime family friend Steven Wisman, 31. The couple exchanged vows on Thursday, August 15th. Now Jana is embarking on a new journey as a married woman, leaving Arkansas and moving in with Steven. Where is she moving? Keep reading to find out more about their new home. The former Counting On star has faced questions online for years about when she would move out of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar's home. Many followers wondered when she would marry and why she still lived with her parents. After all, she is the oldest of the Duggar children. Fans were excited to learn that Jana Duggar got engaged earlier this summer. Stephen Wisman officially proposed on June 15th, and within two months, they became husband and wife. Some may remember that Jana and Stephen briefly dated a few years ago, but decided to split up. Despite the breakup, they kept in touch and stayed close over the years, according to Jana. Earlier this year, the pair reconnected and fell in love. It was like, what are we doing? We still enjoy each other. We still really appreciate each other, the Counting on Alum told People. Jeremiah Duggar, Jana's brother, is married to Stephen's sister Hannah. Like Jana, Stephen comes from a large family, being one of 13 children. Now Jana Duggar and Stephen Wisman are setting out to start their new life together. The former Counting on Star spoke about their little house in Nebraska. They've been busy renovating it together, and Jana says it has been fun. The Nebraska home was purchased by Stephen in May 2023 for $275,000. The house spans about 2,152 square feet and is situated on a 0.25-acre lot. It features five bedrooms and two bathrooms, providing plenty of space for starting a family if they choose to do so. I haven't always understood what the bigger picture is, but I know that God knows what is best for all of us, Jana said about her later-in-life wedding. And so for me, it's getting married later. Jana continued, explaining that she often compared herself to her younger siblings. I've watched all them walk through that and then now me walking through this and it is different but we are older, she noted. We are in a different stage of life. We're a little bit more established so we're a little bit more stubborn but it's good. The Counting on Alum expressed that she and Stephen are continuing to learn and grow together. 
The newlyweds are eager to finally be together after several months of long-distance dating. Just doing life together with Steven and being together, Jana Duggar remarked. It's been challenging being long distance, so I think just being together and having someone for daily life. It's a sweet time that I've hoped for and wanted for a while. The Duggar family of TLC 19 children and counting and count on just had another wedding. On August 15th, Jana Duggar, 34, married Stephen Wisman in a ceremony in Prairie View, Arkansas. She is the 12th of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar's 19 children to get married. Who will be the next to say I do? Jana stands out among her siblings for waiting until her mid-30s to walk down the aisle. Most of her siblings got married in their late teens or early 20s. Some family watchers have even dubbed her Cinderella Duggar, theorizing that she's stuck at home doing housework and raising younger siblings. Jana is the oldest of the unmarried Duggar children. She has four unmarried sisters Johanna, Jennifer, Jordan, and Josie. She also has three unmarried brothers Jason, James, and Jackson. Jason Duggar could be the next one to say, I do. Currently, none of the Duggars have announced engagements or are officially dating the family's more conservative stance on dating. But that doesn't mean something isn't happening. Earlier this summer, Jana's brother Jason appeared to have begun a relationship with a mystery woman on. A few weeks later, he confirmed that he was dating someone. Celebrating July 4th with my girlfriend, he captioned the post did not reveal his girlfriend's name. So far, there is no indication that Jason is engaged. But it is possible that the couple is following Jana's lead and keeping their relationship status quiet. Although there were rumors that Jana was engaged before the wedding, she did not confirm her relationship until the day of the wedding. With 19 children, weddings are a regular occurrence in the Duggar household. But before Jana's wedding, the family had gone more than two years without a wedding. The last sibling to marry before Jana was her brother Jeremiah, who married Hannah Wisman in March 2022. Hannah is the sister of Jana's new husband. The controversy that has surrounded the Duggar family over the past few years may have been one reason for the wedding's delay. In April 2021, eldest son Josh Duggar was arrested and charged with receiving and possessing material depicting child sexual abuse. The family's TLC reality show Count On was dismissed shortly thereafter. Josh was sentenced in late 2021, and in May 2022, he was sentenced to 12 years in prison. Jana's sister Jill Duggar Dillard has also spoken out about her brother's abuse and her falling out with her father over a dispute over compensation for her work on the family's television show. In 2023, she published a memoir, Count the Cost, details the dark side of reality TV and her complicated relationship with her family. In an interview with Everybody Jana hinted that her family situation was one reason she was cautious in her relationship with her new husband. I was slower to act but over time his personality, his return still loving me no matter what, she said. I know we have a crazy big family and still have to put up with a lot. I thought oh my gosh not too many people do that. He must really really care about me. Jana Duggar spent 16 years living on her family's Arkansas compound as an adult, but she's finally getting the hell out of Dodge, and the other Duggars will no longer be able to take advantage of her free childcare services. On August 15th, Jana married a longtime friend of the Duggar family, Stephen Wisman. According to People, Jana and Stephen had dated in the past but had split up. Back in the day, the Duggars would have considered this a courtship that didn't work out, as Jana's parents, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, don't believe in the concept of dating. The near-militant independent Baptists hold patriarchal, old-fashioned views many people would consider extreme the Duggar family rules include no kissing or hand holding before marriage. But apparently, one thing they don't frown upon is double in-laws. Before Jana and Stephen decided to give their romance a second chance, Jana's younger brother, Jeremiah Duggar, married Stephen's sister, Hannah Wisman. This means Jeremiah and Hannah's kids will be double first cousins with any children that Jana and Stephen have. For if Jana's younger sisters got married before she did Jill Duggar, Jessa Duggar, Jinger Duggar, and Joanna Duggar, they all had church weddings, whereas their 34-year-old sister decided to walk down the aisle at the Grand at Willow Springs, a luxury wedding venue. Another surprising detail about Jana's nuptials is that Jill was missing from her wedding party, but her dress choice might be the biggest shocker of her big day. Jana Duggar's wedding dress featured an off-the-shoulder neckline that dipped into a wide V. It exposed her collarbones and shoulders, 
which is a violation of the Duggar family's dress code. Describing her family's views on modesty in a 2012 TLC blog, Michelle Duggar wrote, We felt like we needed to be covered from our neck to below our knees mainly because God talks about the thigh being uncovered, and how that's nakedness and shame. Jana's gown was also very Disney-coded. The dress felt classy and a bit like a princess, the former Counting on Star told People. It was perhaps more Sleeping Beauty style, whereas Jana has often been compared to Cinderella. When the Duggars first began appearing on TLC, some viewers tuned in because they saw them as a paragon of family values. Others, however, developed a morbid fascination with the Duggars' twisted family dynamics. It wasn't lost on these hate watchers that Jana was expected to act as a sister mom to her younger siblings, with marriage being the only acceptable way to escape this fate. Jana's parents seemed to frown upon women pursuing roles outside of homemaking or helping with family businesses, but Jana told People she's been attending nursing school since 2023. She and Stephen Wisman will reside in a land far, far away from her family, Nebraska. It's probably as close to a fairy tale ending as a member of the scandal-plagued Duggar clan is going to get.